<laughs> great to see you. Uh, again, there's a lot to, to discuss, but you know, I'm happy to report that we've made significant progress since we uh, last met as a country. Uh, as you know, the enhanced surveillance regime yes. will be coming to an end uh, in August, and we all put a lot of work in making sure that this very painful chapter for the country, which essentially started 12 years ago, uh, is coming uh, to an end, and of course, on various topics that uh, are of interest to you. I think we've made good progress uh, on, on many files, and I would like to thank you personally, but also your services. I think we have a very good and honest uh, cooperation. But also regarding digital, which I know is your great, great passion, I think we've done, uh, we've done a lot in Greece on, uh, on that front. Uh, we used COVID as an accelerator to really push through digital services at an unprecedented uh, pace. And of course, there's a lot that remains to be done also in terms of uh, digital infrastructure. I know you had a good meeting also with Minister um, uh, Pierre Akaikis, uh, and we're really looking forward to using the RRF funds uh, to further drive through this uh, transformation. But it's a, it's a, and of course, I would also like to, to congratulate you on, uh, on your leadership. Um, uh, regarding uh, the European initiatives that we've that we've taken in the in the digital space, I think it is it is important that there is a cutting edge uh, regulatory public policy making um, regime which is emerging out of Europe. When we are talking about you know big tech companies, uh, you know with all the benefits that they bring, we should not recognize that there is also another side that we need to pay attention to. So uh, my personal congratulations. Um, regarding your unwavering uh, sort of energy uh, in, in terms of uh, uh, investing in this uh, very important file. Well, thank you very much. Um, I, I appreciate very much you saying this uh, because it's, it's all up to the teams. You know, the work that has been done over the years and the digital files, you know, many people have been uh, engaged and focusing. Uh, same thing, I think, on, the, um, on all the aid that was needed during the, the pandemic. Uh, teams working 24-7 um, and working, I think, very well <clears throat> with uh, our colleagues here in Greece. So um, it, it is a work of themes that makes it happen. But, you know, it has been more or less a, a, um, a visit of congratulations because, uh, you know, what Greece has achieved over the last uh, years is really... It's, uh, it's impressive. And um, it's, you know, we're, we're in this macro crisis of, of war, energy, inflation, climate. Uh, and I think, unfortunately, that sort of subdued the celebrations that ought to be held for the enhanced surveillance to stop. Because the fact that, that this has been achieved you know, I, I was there firsthand watching this. And back then, I think a lot of people, they doubted if this was possible, if this would ever going to happen. And, um, and now when it's a success, of course, it has many fathers. Um, but, but I think uh, rightfully, uh, your government uh, has been doing a lot to make this happen. And it should also not, I think, be untold uh, the pain and the sacrifice uh, of the Greek people in order to get here. Uh, because it, it has been painful. It is, it is painful to correct an economic path that has been so wrong. Uh, so I think also in, in that respect, uh, it, is, it says something really, really impressive uh, also about the Greek society. So I think that is... That should be sort of, it ought to, but you know what, how it is with news? You know, good news, page four, bad news, front yeah. page. Although, you know, every time, to, when, when, we, when we get to this time of the year, you know, end of June, beginning of July, you know, we remember what happened in 2015 and how close we, we came to a complete catastrophe. We paid a very heavy price uh, for choices that were uh, made uh, um, uh, during, um, during, during that year. But I think you're right to point out that Greek society has proven incredibly resilient. But we've also demonstrated that you can shift from a low growth to a high growth potential while at the same time um, making sure that the growth is inclusive, 
uh, that we, we address the concerns of the young people, uh, that it is uh, digitally smart and environmentally sustainable. This is what we're trying to, to achieve and, and our goal and my personal goal was always to not repeat the mistakes of the past. Uh, we want a growth that is investment driven, innovation driven uh, and not consumption driven fueled by debt. So we're very conscious of the fact that whatever we do in terms of uh, uh, public intervention needs to be viewed within the constraints of our fiscal policy and that is why we've been able to, um, I think, target our measures, also our, our, our post-pandemic measures, or measures related to, uh, to inflation in a smart way. But you know something, if it were not for the digital transformation, we would not have been able to do so. I'm sure there are European countries that cannot deliver right now targeted assistance because they simply don't have the, the sort of the, the ability of their various databases to, to talk to each other. So when we want, for example, to deliver now a targeted uh, approach, we can actually do it. Uh, we were not able to do so um, uh, three years ago. We would have relied on horizontal measures, which we know are ineffective.